G'day folks, um, just a quick little video, um, unfortunately I'm very ill prepared, I haven't got the CDI unit in my hand, but this is a little bit of instructions on how to test a DC CDI unit on the, uh, or as found on a 1988 Honda TRX 350 ATV. Important to note that there was a change in the wiring on these machines during the year of 1988. So check your unit to see whether it fits into the same as mine. And the clue is the colour of this wire here. It may be different to grey after um, pre-88 or um, 1988 at some stage during that year this wire here on that plug there changed colour um, so um, yeah I basically scrounged up some information um, from various sources on YouTube and big thanks to Learning Zone uh, Indian fellow and also Rolling Wrench as well so help with help um, with help from those blokes I was able to nut this out so yeah, my uh, TRX350 got no spark at all. So I'm just trying to diagnose it. And this is what I've come up with from the manual and also what I found online. So on the plug, as it says here, we've got the, the blue and yellow pulse wire coming from the pulse uh, generator, which is um, housed in with the same area as the stator. Uh, the black and yellow wire goes over to your coil which is mounted on the frame. It has its um, its own earth wire there. Um, this one here, the common green wire, that's a common earth, that's on this pin here. That is common to the coil, um, which is sort of through the frame, but it's also got a separate connection that goes into that wire um, from the coil, and also the frame and the stator earth plate as well. So they're all common from that pin there. This other pin here, the yellow and white one, my wires were very faded. I couldn't quite work out what colour it really was, but pretty sure it's yellow with white. And that's the alternator sensor wire. This is a, D, um, a DC CDI, so when you turn the ignition on, make sure the stop switch is switched to run. You should have your battery voltage um, you know, 12 and a half, 12.6, 12.7 volts or something like that um, coming into this pin here. When you turn the ignition off or you turn the run switch to kill it, um, yeah, that, that 12 volt power should cut out. This wire here, the grey one, um, that's linked into the gear shift pedal and the reverse and neutral lights and that sort of thing. Just next to this box mounted on the frame, there's a smaller unit. That's all got to do with the logic behind the um, the ability for those little lights and that to work and, and all that sort of stuff. So this this is sort of just for testing the CDI. So these little checks that I've got written down here, these are from the manual. The CDI checks, they're done from the harness side. So you have to disconnect the, um, the two little plugs that plug into that to get to the harness side of... Um, of the wires. So to test the ignition coil, the primary wire, that's that black and yellow and the green. So what we're going to do is check the content, uh, check the ohms. So you set your own meter to ohms and you check the black and yellow wire, which is um, the one that's going to your coil. So the black and yellow and your green earth. And this is on the plug side not not the CDI, check that. You should get 0.1 to 0.2 ohms. If you want to, you can disconnect your, your coil and you can check it at the two terminals yourself if you wanted to take it off and, and check that on the bench that you're going to get the same sort of reading, 0.1 to 0.2 ohms. The other side of the um, the coil, which you might want to check if, you, if you're that way inclined you're going to get some different readings um, I've got those written down but it's much higher if you were to check the um, 
between the main spark plug wire and either one of those it's it's going to be a little bit more just hang on a second i might have written no i haven't got it written down um that's that's in the manual and that's relatively easy to find that information on the net the pulse the pulse generator coil the blue and yellow and the green one so the green's a common earth so you're just checking on the harness side again just check that blue and yellow pulse wire and the green wire so you should get this you should get somewhere 290 to 360 ohms through your pulse generator coil that can also be checked at the green or it might be black plug uh, on the frame on the left hand side of the bike um, just underneath the seat area there you'll see that uh, that connector that goes down into the state area that's that's for your pulse generator coil the ignition stop switch um, you need to check that as well that's just the black and white and once again the green um, earth so your 12 volt supply that's the black and white wire from the ignition that um, that one there so you're basically on your harness you're checking that pin and that one there on the harness side and uh, you should get um, 12 volts when your ignition is on and it's run, got uh, the run um, switch in the run position. Your neutral switch, you'll have, um, which is the green and over, uh, between the green and the grey, you should have uh, no continuity provided you've got it into neutral and um, not in, definitely not in reverse. Uh, you should have no continuity between the green, which is your your common earth, and the and the grey wire. Now that might be a different colour, as I mentioned before. You need to just check to see um, what year yours is. The AC sensor line. There's a couple of tests we can do there. We test the uh, the yellow and white and the green wire there should be no continuity so that alternator sensor wire and the green there should be no continuity there at the at your wire but if you disconnect your white three pole connector that's also in the it's very close to that other one that i was saying um uh, from your the pulse wire the connector by the seat if you disconnect the 3p connector it's got three yellow wires and check the continu continuity between the yellow and the white wire at the CDI harness and the yellow wires at the three point connector of the alternator wire side. You should have con continuity there. So, there, that's sort of out of the manual. There's a little statement in the manual which um, I haven't actually tested this to see what's, whether it's true or not, but it said you can actually have it in, in gear as long as it's not reverse. And using the Kickstarter, you should be able to get a spark. I don't know how true that is. Anyway, um, if you find this useful, that's great. Once again, thanks to, um, to Learning Zone and also Rolling Wrench for enlightening me on this information. And I um, hope you find it useful. Cheers.